Ukraine can break through Russia's remaining defense lines by the end of the year. The Pentagon's Defense Intelligence Agency believes that the recent successes of the armed forces of Ukraine suggest a realistic possibility of a breakthrough in the rest of the Russian defense lines by the end of the year, although it would be extremely difficult. Trent Moll, director of analysis at Defense Intelligence Agency, said this in an interview with The Economist. After three months of slow progress, the Ukrainian counteroffensive is gaining momentum. Had we had this conversation two weeks ago, I would have been slightly more pessimistic. Their breakthrough on that second defense belt is actually pretty considerable, Trent Moore says. The Defense Intelligence Agency will monitor for signs that Russia may continue to supply artillery munitions to the front line and maintain leadership at the local level, Moore said. Moore admits that American and Ukrainian officials failed to assess the depth of Russian defenses and how difficult it would be for Ukraine to break through them with armored vehicles. Ukrainian generals told The Guardian that 80% of Russia's efforts aimed to build the first and second lines of defense. But Moll warns that a significant part of Russian reinforcements remains on the third line. Moll says two critical variables are extremely important. Ukraine's ammunition supply, vital to support the artillery that ensures the advance and the weather in the fall. One of the officials of the Biden administration says that Ukraine has about six to seven weeks of fighting left before the culmination of the offensive. Moll is somewhat less gloomy. Moll said that Sergei Surovikin, the Russian general who built the defense lines, and Yevgeny Prigozhin, whose Wagner mercenaries have achieved Russia's most tangible successes in the past year, are both out of action, the former fired and the latter killed in a plane crash. Moll also says that Ukraine's recent successes are significant and give its forces a realistic opportunity in intelligence terms with a 40 to 50 percent probability to break through the remaining Russian lines by the end of the year. But he warned that limited ammunition and deteriorating weather would make it very difficult. At the same time, the attention of the US intelligence community is already shifting to the next combat season. Even without a breakthrough this year, the Defense Intelligence Agency believes that if Ukraine can expand the salient around Robotine, hold its ground and secure ammunition supplies, it will be well prepared for another breakthrough in 2024.